Hey guys, Dave Games Master here, and I'm going to be showing you how to edit a skin. This is replacing my old video, which may not have gone through things quite as how you would have liked it. First of all, you need to locate your Rigs of Gods folder. This can be found in your documents area, and it will be under whichever Rigs of Gods version you have. So I'll be editing 0.4 here. Then you need to go into vehicles then you need to find your vehicle so I'm going to be editing the Gavril MV4 which I go down here and it's under MV4 um, if you do not get this popping up right click open with WinRAR Archiver and if you don't have WinRAR you can go down and load the trial and you'll keep on getting that message popping up or you can go and get 7-zip which will alternatively do the same see that's the um, trial version over basically so evaluation now you need to find the .dds now I like working with the MVR uh, MV4R which is basically the high spec not that it actually mat matters um, so it will be a DDS it will be something like this you'll want to extract it or move it to your desktop like this so I just dragged it out so you'll get it like a file open with and then you can choose whatever you want to open it with so my recommended program is Adobe Photoshop because that's what I traditionally open it with uh, but you can use paint.net if you have that installed that isn't paint.net by the way uh, paint.net is free and you can find it online just type it in download it and then you will have paint.net so open it in anything you want such as Photoshop and it'll pop up like this. Uh, this is my already modified skinned version, as you can see. Uh, it should be pretty easy to modify anything now that you want. So once you've opened it, that's basically the hard part. So if I want to do anything to this, so uh, let's say we shall magic wand all this. So that's most of the grey area and a bit of that. We'll just do this. We'll just do the bumper here. We'll change that to something more appealing. We'll change that to. So if you're doing through this through Paint.net, it's pretty self-explanatory. You should still have the wand tool, which will easily select, and you should still have the paintbrush tool, which you can easily use to paint things with. So we'll go for an absolutely horrible yellow. Yeah, let's go for <laughs> something. Um, we'll go for black. This black's cool do something like that. What you must be careful of is the fact that it's now blended into the background pretty damn well so the next time you come to highlight it it probably won't be there if you understand what I mean. So if we just go and <laughs> save that now this will be disastrous. Uh, if you're doing it through Photoshop you'll need the .dds plugin which you can get off Nvidia's site which will basically save it in the correct format so now if we go back here, that should now be edited. Now you can always check again. It is, look. Uh, yeah, that opened up exactly the same one. So that's good. That means it's edited. Drag it in here. Add and replace file. Okay. So next time, if we just undo all this, because I don't want to be able to lose everything. Save. Save. That's only saving to my desktop, by the way. The desktop one can be deleted as soon as you've finished editing. So if we close this. Now if we open this, we can double check that it actually saved it. And there we see it's colored in black. Um, ignore the fuzziness around the edge. That's just where the wand tool didn't get it. Now if we go into Rigs of Rods, you can open it up. You might need to regen the cache, but normally you, will, you won't need to do that and your car will be successfully edited to that colour um, that includes putting stickers on and whatever you want to do with it so that's basically just the basics if you need any more in-depth information just ask me and I'll try and explain it the best I can thanks guys, hope this helped